applications of parabolas. A firework is launched from ground level and its height in meters, h, over time in seconds, t, is given by this parabola. This is a really typical type of question that we're likely to get. And it will vary as to whether they give you the parabola in general form or as I have here in turning point form. But your strategy is the same either way. You find the turning point, you find the intercepts, you look at where the meaningful part of the parabola is and only sketch that part. So obviously when time is negative, I'm not going there. When um, height is negative, that's not relevant for this one. And various aspects of the movement of the object are given. So the maximum height of the firework will be given at the turning point. What I want to cover with this example, which is why I chose the turning point, is one way of getting the x-intercepts when you have the turning point form. So the turning point is easy. That's h, k, so it's 15, 100. The x-intercepts, let y be 0. Sorry, I'll zoom in a little bit there. So now obviously this is h is 0 and I'm finding the t-intercepts. So 0 equals negative 4 on 9 t minus 15 squared plus 100. Now solve for t. Take your 100 over the other side. I actually prefer to keep t on this side. So that's negative 4 over 9 t minus 15 squared equals negative 100. We're going to get down to t minus 15 squared, so I'm dividing both sides by negative 4 and 9. Now dividing by negative 4 on 9, simplify that on your next line. So that will be negative divided by negative will give me a positive. That will be 100 times 9 on 4. So t minus 15 squared, sorry, zoom up a little bit there, make sure we're focused, is 225. To take the square root of both sides, t minus 15 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 225. So t will be 15 plus 15, square root of 25, or 15 minus 15. So t equals 30 or 0. I've found the x-intercepts. So it's a reasonably easy way of going from turning point form to the x-intercepts. And you could probably skip a few lines of working. Now I've got the x-intercepts and the turning point all I need to do is sketch my parabola. Ideally you'd have a ruler, but I have a workbook. So it's in the air from 0 seconds to 30 seconds. And at point 15, or at X, uh, t is 15, we have a height of 100 because we did the turning point. And our parabola is there. Label your axes. This is h in meters. This is time in seconds. Label your rule. y equals negative 4 on 9. x minus 15 squared plus 100. And answer your question, which is how high does the um, firework get, which is 100 meters up in the air after 15 seconds. So the same approach for most of these questions. Only graph the meaningful part of the parabola. Look for your turning point and your x-intercepts and answer questions.